really get confused at the difference between photosynthesis and cell respiration, all you have to remember is that they are complete opposites of one another. If you look at the reactants of photosynthesis, because they're on the left side, remember, reactants are always on the left side, they are the exact same as the products of cellular respiration. And vice, the same works vice versa. In photosynthesis, the products are glucose and oxygen. In cell respiration, the reactants are glucose and oxygen. So they are the complete opposites of one another. Continue with a little bit more of a comparison between photosynthesis and cell respiration. If we take a look at photosynthesis, photosynthesis really only makes glucose, which is pretty much sugar and that will be used later on. As a byproduct, it creates oxygen gas. In cellular respiration, the main thing we're making is ATP. Now remember, ATP, the real word is adenosine triphosphate, and that's pretty much just cell energy. Big thing here is cellular respiration makes energy. If we take a look at where these processes happen and which organelle in the cell, photosynthesis takes place in the chloroplast, while cell respiration occurs in the mitochondria. If we take a look at the type of cells where these processes occur, in photosynthesis, photosynthesis only occurs in plant cells. In the... Now, cellular respiration is a little bit tricky. Uh, a lot of students can generally understand that animal cells undergo cell respiration because that's true, but also so do plant cells. Think of it like this. Photosynthesis will help make the food and it only makes the food. The cell still has to have a way to break that food down. So plant cells have the chloroplast to make the food, and they also have mitochondria to turn the glucose they made in photosynthesis into the ultimate product, which is energy.